Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Cha Kudash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father in the ancient Hebrew. Bahasham meaning in the name of Yahweh Shai, his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone on down. And uh, peace and blessings all right on to the elect. Um, this right here is a, a video. Now, as I was uh, creating a backup channel, all right, because they basically struck all my backup channels. You know, I had like three of them. They struck all of them. So um, I created another backup channel, all right, Bukwara Amath 12. Okay, and, um, uh, you know, I created that just in case they strike my main channel. But um, those who I'll do a video, you know, with a link in it so brothers can find it. But I was reading here as I was creating the backup channel, the privacy and terms, all right, in which they um, Google, you know, like it says here, data we process when you use Google, okay? And um, I don't know, the spirit just hit me to read it, and it's very interesting what they got on here. All right, so it says, um, it says here, in addition, when you create an account, and this is the YouTube account that I was creating, it says we process your information as described in our privacy policy including these key points right and this is a still a, a shot a screenshot of it right so it says uh data we process when you use google when you set up a google account we store information you give us like your name email address and telephone number when you use google services to do things like write a message in gmail or comment on a youtube video we store the information you create all right, so they're letting you know that when you, whatever emails you send, they got that information. If, if you comment on a YouTube video, you say Shalom, you say edifying video, you, whatever you say, they have that information. Check this out. It says when you search for a restaurant on Google Maps or watch a video on YouTube, for example, we process information about that activity. So now they're able to see what videos you're watching they process that information all right it says um including information like the video you watched all right device ids ip addresses cookie data and location all right it says we also process the kinds of information described above when you use apps or sites that use Google service like ads, analytics, and YouTube video player. So guess what? You got people that, you know, uh, the, the, the scriptures did say, all right, that when you have certain, some that hear the word, but when persecution ariseth, they, you know, they, by and by they are offended and they, they basically dip. You got to understand, man, that they have the information of everybody. They know who's watching the video. So when we tell you that you know who's watching the videos, where you're watching the video from, even if you put a fake name, fake email, fake phone number, whatever, they got your IP address, they got the location in which you're streaming or watching the video from, whatever device you're watching it on, where the video is being streamed from. So they got, they got all that information anyway. All right. Now, when it comes time, when they, you know, of course, they, they start the demonization and the, the, the uh, trying to um, outlaw and incriminate the scriptures, or what we teach, I should say, guess what? They could go back to, let's say, 2007. They could go back to 2000 and uh, whatnot, you know, and find who watched. If you've ever watched one of the videos, you know, commented, liked, subscribed, whatever, they, they, they easily they can, um, you know, find out who you are, okay? Location-wise, IP address, okay, who is this individual, you know, that's living here? Who lives in this house? You know, all this, look, man. These devils have all of that. Okay, they have all that. Now, they're going to say, oh, why we process it, right? And they'll tell you, oh, it's to help the, uh, deliver uh, better search results or improve the quality of our services. Well, why do you need the location, you know? So, you know, it was very interesting to me. It stood out, you know, as I was reading this. But, hey, at this point, we already understand, all right, what it is that we're involved in. We already understand what this devil has uh, in, in plans, 
all right and they're, they're striking down a lot of channels all right they're striking down a lot of channels and we know that that time is coming very soon where there's that one specific prophecy which we should know by now that is becoming more and more evident that if you speak on it they're gonna either strike your channel down you know uh, take the video down give your channel a strike where you can't upload and or terminate your channel all right and we know what that that thing is all right that's that thing all right <laughs> that's followed by you know what you know what i'm talking about all right it's the mark let's go with that okay now i got a, a few quick precepts here this is the book of ezekiel chapter 28 verse 3 it says behold thou art wiser than daniel there is no secret that they can hide from thee and that's just an example all right here it is by just uh signing on to a web browser and clicking on a certain app look they got let's connect right here if I was to click on this and it took me to YouTube whatnot just from doing that alone they can gather whatever information they require all right so what can you really hide from them if you if you put a fake address they can find your real address if you put a fake name they can find your real name all right your bank account all of that all right so and, and ultimately, the Lord, you know, gave them that technology to be able to do that, all right? But it's also to fulfill prophecy. So when the time comes, when they start coming down with great wrath, you're not going to be able to escape by trying to outwit, you know, trying to outwit them or trying to, you know, do this, that, and the third. It's going to be by the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai because they're not, they're not going to let you slip out of their hands. The Lord is going to have to deliver us out of their hands. All right, because they have no intentions on it. Even if they try to make a deal with you, in the back of their mind, it's not a, it's not uh, for your best interest. They don't have your best interest in mind. They already have the information they need. They just want to make it easier. You know, hell, if, if they could get somebody to, you know, sell out, that makes it easier for them. One way or another, they're going, in their mind, they're going to get it done. All right, so they really don't need you sellouts. All right, uh, Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So that's why they're gonna come with that great wrath. Okay? As a matter of fact, let's jump down to verse 17. It says, And the dragon was wroth with the woman, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. Alright, now that woman representing the nation of Israel, and the remnant representing the elect. All right, so guess what? They're going to come down with great wrath, and they're going to make war. All right, they're going to come against the elect. It says, which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. And because of that, anybody that hears this testimony, anybody that uh, um, subscribes to this testimony, guess what? You become a part of the enemy that they're coming to make war with. And that's why it says here in the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 16, verse 70, for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord because they know where you at. They know who you are. They know where you are. They have files on you, whether you, you know it or not. Now, they might, if they ever approach you, they might act as though, you know, they don't know you or you're just new or no. They have files, okay, gathering information, all right, where you live, who you know, who you associate. They have all of that, man. Okay, they have all of that. It says they shall be like madmen, sparing none. So when when they get when it gets to that point where the Lord gives them the green light, you know, through the Spirit, and they're like, all right, go, and they start coming down, like like it says, like madmen, sparing none. It says, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. How are they gonna know where you live? They got all your information. You know why? Because everything is digital now. All right? And there's certain information you need to give up to them if you want to be able to live, you know, in society. All right? Social security number, address, all of these different things. Get, they're able to trace all of that. Okay? Bank account, all of that. Okay? So, so when they come and they do this, verse 73 says, Then shall they be known who are my chosen. Not because you were able to outslick them and put some false information here and, you know, switch this here and they couldn't find you. No. 
those that are going to be uh, uh, the way, all right, that the elect is going to be known to be the chosen of the Lord is because the Lord is going to intervene on their behalf. And he's going to do something that is going to separate them. All right, he's going to make the elect stand out amongst everybody else, but in the favor of the elect. And that's when you're going to know. Because, see, when they start coming down with great wrath and they start casting people out of their houses, that's negative. That's 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 a, a hell. So out of that hell, something is going to have to happen for you to know that, hey, these men are the Lord's chosen. Because, number one, they're going to be delivered. But, number two, the way they're going to be delivered, you're going to know that is by divine power. And if a divine power is de delivering certain people, then that means that he must have chosen them. All right. When the flood came, how do we know that Noah, all right, was chosen? He got delivered by a miraculous deliverance. So we knew, all right, by the way the Lord, because everybody was going to go and get that work. All right. But it was known that certain individuals, the Lord had mercy on, all right, namely Noah. Okay. He was chosen because what? He was delivered. But the way he was delivered when nobody else got delivered other than his family makes it stand out that he was a chosen of the, uh, a vessel of the Lord. All right? Amongst many other situations. It says, um, and they shall be tried as um, the gold in the fire. All right, verse 74. Here, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide. See? Uh, matter of fact, 76, and the guide of them who keep my commandments. Remember, in Revelation 12 and 17, they came to make war with the remnant of the woman's seed who kept. Let me, let me, let me phrase that right, because women don't have seed. All right. The remnant of her seed, meaning the, the, uh, the elect. Okay. The woman is metaphorical for Israel. Okay, so the remnant of her seed, meaning the elect, all right, the, the, the few of her offspring, all right, so let me put it like that, okay, so remember, they're the ones, like it says here, the Lord is a guide to them who keep my commandments and precepts, save the Lord power, all right, let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift, lift up themselves, all right, so, hey, that's clear and cut right there, you know, um, just straight to the point, I just wanted to, you know, bring that out and highlight that, hey, don't think that, you know, I'm just I'm just on the background. You got people talking about this is why I don't I don't I'm not I'm not with the camps. Guess what? You on Esau's list anyway. You know? Uh this is why, you know, I I only follow this group. You still on Esau's list. All right? Now he knows that there's different groups. He knows you got Grey Millstone, IUIC, ISU. He knows all that. But does he care? Look, he he wants every all of us, man. So guess what? Oh, I only watch this group. They, they, they still got your ass. You know? <laughs> All right? They still coming, man. All right? But I uh, just wanted to do that real quick. Lord willing, that was edifying. All right? On to the elect. Okay? In closing, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Until next time, Shalom.